So you, I wake up this morning, you know, I've traded the stock small, but I wake up this morning, I see where it's trading, and you see why it's trading there. And so much is wrong. See, the first time, going back three and a half years, I kind of understand what it is. There was a the high short interest in the stock. It became some gl global movement, uh, you know, the eat the rich. Uh, he became a folk hero, this roaring kitty. He put an actual thesis up. He made a video online why he thought GameStop was undervalued. Uh, and, he, and he actually put investment thesis, albeit he was wrong. It went higher. And, this, you know, the rest is folklore. Today was totally different. We wake up today and all of a sudden last night he puts this monster position, no thesis, he's been wrong, short-term options. I personally do not believe this is his own personal money. Uh, why do you, why do you say that, Andrew? I mean, just let's do math. I mean, what's the size of this trade that he put on today? A hundred and what, 150 million? 115, 100. something like that. Okay, let's say it's 150 million. You know, how, how much did he make first time around? If he made, you know, 200 million after taxes, you have 100 million. Do you think he put his whole net worth on this trade? If he made 250 million, I don't think he made 250 million. If you go uh, online, it says he made somewhere around 50 million, 60 million. So I just don't think it's his money, you know, and, and it, there should be some form of disclosure if it's not, you know, that he's went out to really shake this world up. And also he didn't give us a thesis. It's not like he said, I'm buying it for a reason. So either he has MNPI, and I don't think he does, fair enough. I don't think there's anything GameStop is gonna say in the next two weeks. I mean, what are they gonna say? They're opening an AI fund with the money they raised. Uh, it just seems to me, it was completely different. It was almost like what he's doing right now is trying to take advantage of the retail traders, the same people that he was supposed to represent three and a half years ago. They're coming out and throwing a giant fit accusing him of being backed by big money and so forth. This is a this is a large hedge fund that is advertised multiple times being short on GameStop, having gotten blown out in 2021 completely on their position, bragging about re-entering in May and then supposedly bragging again and now pushing for him to be deplatformed. And he's saying here, I, I think this is his last name is Luck. I don't know you guys can you guys can uh, correct me on that. But what made Keith Gill, a.k.a. Kitty, interesting initially was his authenticity. He shared a detailed investment thesis and put his money where his mouth was, which combined with a high short interest and restless country and boom, investing history. This time it feels different. No, it really doesn't. You're just a big giant liar. I'll just say that much. His authenticity is unmatched. He's doing exactly what he did before. He's memeing and he's posting his YOLO. He put all of his money right where his mouth is and didn't lie about it like you guys do 24 7 and his thesis is completely correct as we've broken down thoroughly in this video this company has zero debt enormous short interest still you guys have never closed give me a break now with gme he posts with a large account and a significant near term op near term option position appearing more like manipulation without a solid thesis that's ridiculous that's utterly ridiculous his options plays have been legendary and continue to be, and his account is most likely entirely his own, and I'll explain how he could have accomplished this. Like someone like this never could, right? We believe someone is backing Gil. There's no way he made this, set, this size trade alone. His reported finances don't support his trade. Investors will see through this roaring Icarus. This is the biggest joke of a statement besides maybe whoever posted on behalf of Citadel Securities in mid 2021, clearly terrified of being accused of colluding with Robinhood, which they totally did by the way.